what is up beautifuls welcome back to my youtube channel or of course welcome if you're new i'm finn and in today's video you guys actually decided today's video so if you're not following me on instagram it's absolutely fine but if you do want to follow me it's here so you can have a look I asked you guys on my Instagram stories what you wanted to see today. Did you want to see a chatty Christmas Q&A get ready with me? Or did you want to see everything I bought my family and friends for Christmas? And you guys picked everything that you bought your family and friends for Christmas, which is awesome because I so, so wanted to do that video. So that's all we're doing today. I'm going to be taking you guys through everything I got my family for Christmas, the shops that it came from. If I can remember, I'll tell you how much it costs. Disclaimer, please. Maisie, if you're watching this, take notice. If you're someone I normally buy a Christmas present for, so Maisie, Ryan, Tristan, the remainder of my family, Katie, my friend, please don't watch this video. It will spoil it. That said, without further ado, let's show you guys what I've got everyone for Christmas, excluding my boyfriend, because that will be a separate video in itself. So if that is something that interests you, if maybe you're struggling with gift ideas or you're just plain damn nosy, then please keep on watching. I just want to give a really, really tiny disclaimer. I know that I don't have to do this because you guys are so lovely, but I'm incred incredibly thankful and grateful that I have a job and that this year I wasn't furloughed, I wasn't made redundant, I wasn't fired. Um, and I'm so lucky to be in that position. This year has been insane for so many different people. There are people that won't be, Christmas will not be the same this year for a lot of families. It really, really won't. I completely, completely understand that. I just wanna say like, I know how grateful and lucky I am to be in this position. That aside, this is what I've bought everyone. So let's go. I'm gonna start first with my Auntie Jen. So my Auntie Jen, she loves smellies candles and stuff. So I picked her up these reed diffusers and these are actually from Primark and they're £2.50 each. Although it says £2.50 and I was charged £3. So if Primark, if you're watching this, you owe me a pound, honey. This one is the pink peony, peony rose and apple reed diffuser. I think these look so, so pretty. Um, gorgeous good packaging. I haven't opened them and I'm not going to, but it's just a reed diffuser. And then I also got her this one, which is the clean cotton one. So these will last up to eight weeks. And for three pounds, I don't really think we can complain. And then to go on top of that, just to almost bulk it out, but I know that she'll use this and I know that she'll like it. I also picked her up this Bayless and Harding gift set, which was only a fiver from Superdrug. It comes with body wash, body lotion, luxury shower cream, moisturising hand cream and refreshing shower gel, all in these really cute pink things. I really like Bayless and Harding because it's it's not quite like proper high end, but it is up there. It's a bit more upmarket. She, she will use that and I really hope that she likes it. So the next person I bought gifts for was my auntie Paula. So I bought Paula, I basically sent her a text and I asked her like, is there anything in particular that you want or that you'd like? I didn't want to get her just rubbish. She said, that, she, that I know her anyway, so books. She needs a new pair of um, gloves, new scarf. She gave me a couple of color options. So I decided I was gonna have a look for a mustard pair of gloves and I ended up coming up with these. I actually got these from a little boutique online and they were 15 pounds, but I absolutely love them. I think they're adorable. I got her these mustard gloves which are just like polka dotty and they feel amazing quality. They genuinely feel brilliant. So yeah, just got her some of those. Then to go with it, I also got her this Primark scarf, which kind of goes, it goes with the dots anyway. So that will look really, really nice together, I think. And then because I know that she loves books like this, I picked her up this book called I Know A Secret by Tess Jeristen. Um, and it's like a psychological thriller kind of book and this was 8 99 from WH Smith. I absolutely love, love the gloves. Okay, next up is my big brother, Justin, who we don't really get each other real presents. We kind of get each other stocking filler kind of gifts, like funny things, things that I know he's gonna use. So I picked up and I get him this kind of thing every year. So I actually got him these four pack of hot sauce from Primark. Now these were only four pounds, which is like a pound of sauce is really, really good. And they are mild, medium, hot and very hot. So he's gonna really like them and he will definitely use them, I know. And then to go with that, I went shopping yesterday with Freddie and I saw this in Debenhams. So I also got him this 
chili salt grinder with just loads of like chili salt in it and this one was only a fiver from Debenhams so I think as a gift I think that's really cute and it cost me nine pounds in total next person so my friend Katie is absolutely obsessed with penguins I think I said that in my previous video she is obsessed I don't know anyone else that loves penguins more than her um, it's a little bit weird <laughs> when people buy her penguins it's normally like for Christmas like Christmas decorations Christmas ornaments like a teddy bear there's not really much use you can get out of it so I found this and thought I have to get that for her I got her this penguin but it's not just any old penguin she can use it because it's a doorstop <laughs> this is from Wilco's and I'm adamant I paid £10 for this so I've got her that and then I've also got to go and do a Tesco chocolate run but I'm going to be giving her a box of celebrations to go with it as well. So this is Katie's present. And I absolutely love him. He's really soft. I haven't named him because I think that's not really fair, is it? So hopefully she calls him something cute. So the next person is my little sister, Maisie. What did I get Maisie? Now she's had a bit of a sh** year, won't lie. And I really, really wanted to kind of cheer her up a little bit. So I picked her up this little bag and then I'm also going to be taking her on a trip next year, which I'm not going to actually establish where yet because I know Maisie and she's probably watching this so Maisie turn it off go away <laughs> I just basically wanted to do her something that she could be nice and cozy and just have a nice evening with so I picked her up this cake in a mug and it is a huge mug um just like that and I actually got inspo from for this from Jen has a go who did a come shop with me and Wilco and things like this I love things like this so yeah I picked her up one of those and this was only a fiver me and Maze absolutely love Stranger Things, so I decided to pick her up some Stranger Things stuff. And I actually got her this adorable little Stranger Things PJ set. So it comes with the little like spaghetti straps. It just says friends don't lie, Stranger Things with the little um, the people on the bikes. And I think that's so cute. But not only does it come with that, it also comes with shorts, which I think Maisie might prefer. So it also comes with these adorable little shorts. Um, I think they're absolutely beautiful so hopefully she likes them and then lastly for Maze, I picked her up this hot water bottle which is the softest hot water bottle I've ever felt in my life so it's this gorgeous pink one it comes like the little bow on the top it's so so soft I think it's 2000 2000 mil and this is only four pounds from Primark so that is a massive bargain so hopefully on Christmas Christmas day boxing day she can be curled up in her PJs with a hot water bottle, eating her cake in a mug. Next up, I'm one for my brothers. Now my brothers are so difficult to buy for because I have no interest in their interests. Like I care what they're into and I know what they're into, but do I know anything about what they're into? No. <laughs> so I thought I'm gonna play it safe and I got my little, little brother a Amazon voucher. Hopefully he can find something that he wants on there. And then I also picked up for my middle brother. I actually got him this little perfume thing from Home Bargain. This is the brand Jeff Banks London and it's called Icon. Now, I have not actually smelled this, but Ryan's really not fussy with things like scent. As long as it smells nice, he, he doesn't really care. Um, so I picked him up one of those and then I also got him a game voucher because he's really into Pokemon and I, have got, I haven't got the faintest idea <laughs> what Pokemon he likes. So yeah, I got him that. And then I also got my other little tiny brother a t-shirt. Now originally, he's went into Xbox, so I got him an Xbox t-shirt and I thought, yeah, he'll really like that. Then Freddie reminded me that actually he's getting the PS5 and he's not getting the Xbox One X. So I've had to take that back to Primark and change it over and get a new one. And so I picked him up this PlayStation t-shirt, which I think is really nice. So it's like the monochrome grey, white and black and it's got the PlayStation logo in the middle which I really really like and I also, it sounds really dumb but I really like the tags as well, like proper PlayStation and this was only £8 so I am not mad with that, I really really hope that he likes it. Next up I've got my Auntie M so I've had to pick things that I know are box style things because they all live in a different county and because of Covid I'm going to have to put it all in a big box and just send it down there by Royal Mail. But hopefully she loves this, I don't know. Hopefully she does. So I've got my Auntie M this huge Bayless and Hardin gift set, which is similar to the other one from my other Auntie Gem, but this one's I think it's a bit bigger. So it comes with body butter, a candle, body wash, um, moisturising body lotion and luxury shower cream again. 
and I just love the look of this. It looks so, so lush. I think it looks so nice, so hopefully she really likes that. Then for her partner, I actually picked up two of these because they were buy one get one free, so they were £25 each, but it was on buy one get one free, so they were more like £12.50. But I got him this Jack Wills gift set with a scarf and a spray can, so hopefully he really likes that. I think he's the sort of bloke to wear scarves, but hopefully, I mean, we'll see. If he doesn't like it, he can always take it back. It's absolutely fine, I've still got the receipts. So, hopefully he does like that, we will see. Yeah, and then obviously, them two live together, so on my Tesco shop run, I'm also getting them a box full of celebrations or heroes or something to go as a family. So aside from chocolate, guys, that is everything that I've bought my family so far. My foster mum, Sandy, she does actually want this huge concrete sheep. Um, but I can't find it anywhere due to COVID and there is no way I can ship concrete sheet to a different county because it's going to cost so much money in Royal Mail fees and that's not happening so bless her, she knows that she won't be getting that until COVID's over and I can go down there and give it to her. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below what your favourite thing was in this video. I think my favourite thing is probably the hot water bottle because it is just so soft. Really, really appreciate you guys watching. If you like the video, please don't forget to hit that like button. And if you are new here and you haven't yet done so, maybe consider subscribing down below. It'd be really, really appreciated. Stay safe, guys. Stay happy. Stay smiling. And I really, really hope that I get to see you in the next video. Until then, love you. Bye.